Uh, okay. You guys can't see this, obviously, because it's in my recording. It's in the OBS software, but like, it's like super zoomed in for some reason. Like, I can't, I can't even see how long I've been recording for because it won't. <laughs> Let me see what's going on. I have to fix that later, but hopefully it doesn't affect um, the actual recording. Um, so yeah, we're back here again. Um, I'm dedicating, I'm putting more time into playing this game rather than um, Fire Emblem because I haven't played Fire Emblem in like a while now. Uh, I just kind of stopped, but that, that'll probably be its own update video uh, for anyone who's still interested in the Fire Emblem stuff. Uh, but the Epic Seven, I'm still playing. I'm still like enjoying where the game is going and all the stuff that's going on right now. Um, yeah, uh, I've liked all the new units. I like where the meta is kind of like at. I know a lot of people are complaining about uh, New Angie. Uh, that's new with an N Mew, by the way. So uh, New Angie. I know a lot of people are complaining about her. Um, I haven't seen her much in RTA yet, or in regular arena, or in Guild War. Um, but I can imagine she's not the most pleasant um, unit to be fighting against. Uh, so, um, yeah, like other, other than other than her, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I haven't had I've, I've met her a few times, but I haven't had that much trouble with her. Um, I usually just bring I don't know. I just usually counter her the same way I counter most debuff things. You just bring enough um, counters, and then eventually you're, you're you know you don't got to worry about it. But you know. Uh, especially just because I mean not everybody has like some of the units like I've been building anti like CC units since like the beginning of the game and not everybody has them so I can understand why a lot of people like a lot of people kind of like gotten over it right like oh I don't need this because I can just outspeed Bassards. I don't need to worry about this because I can just whatever um, right now obviously she was supposed to be a pretty good Bassard counter and I kind of had her built I mean you can see here this is a really crap build um, but I don't, I don't use it really for anything uh, we'll just saying yeah. So I was talking about uh, her. Her crap. Her build is crap, and uh, it's crap because I don't use her uh, in anything. So that's kind of the, the point there. Um, but like in terms of like, so so she's the one that like people probably invested in and it didn't turn out to be very good because um, Bizarre is gonna fall off as soon as people start getting more uh, more of the new Angie. Uh, and there's a lot that like. There's a lot people take in. Like obviously I don't have her build, which I should. But you know this is a good counter, and she's already like. She's not going to be very good on arena offense, I don't think, because Politis is already on every um, arena defense anyway. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, she still, like, gets all her debuffs off, and that's basically, you know, she cripples the entire team. But, like, having her there to, like, not only affect the um, the non-skill thing, but also, like, hit everybody, wipe their, their buffs off and whatnot, like, it's still pretty strong. Like... One of the other things, so this is one of the things that I really haven't had too much trouble with, is because of her her thing here, she cleanses all debuffs anyway, and the the buff block isn't too big a deal because the attack buff isn't really that important. I mean, it's it's valuable. You want to uh, attack, you want attack buff on her to do more damage, um, and the silence isn't very useful on her because you don't really focus on this, right? Like you focus on hitting people with the S one uh, into S one again because of the the passive, and then S twoing off of this. Um, so she's a pretty good counter to her because like they'll silence everyone, do whatever, and then what? She'll she's still doing whatever she's supposed to do, and if someone dies, then you know she does it even better. You know she goes back to being better. So I, I've kind of when I when I counter debuffs, I've never like how do I build a bunch of effect resistance to um, how do I bunch of build a bunch of effect resistance to block it and then cleanse it with like a good cleanser? I've always like I've, I've always kind of not believed in effect resistance. Like it's just kind of a worthless stat to me. Um, so instead I've just kind of invested into like, you know, better units that are like, they can deal with that. So like, you know, like I said, the, um, the REM, you don't have to worry about effect resistance or cleansing. It's like, she just kind of works the way she needs to. Uh, what are some other good examples? Um, where are we here? Like take Violet. Now Violet is, a, is another example where she's going to hit him with the debuffs, but it doesn't really matter because, okay, so you don't get the attack buff and he still dodges at 55%. Um, he he used silence him, but he's not going to use his S three anyway. Uh, turn one and S two turn one. I mean, okay, I lose the S two, but it doesn't really matter because I still have my evasion, right? So the silence doesn't affect him as much to me anyway. So that's kind of why you know there's another example of like why I haven't had too much trouble. Now again, I'm not in the highest level RTA. I think um I forgot I'm I'm in champion. I think no, not champion. I'm in like gold. I'm. I'm I'm getting up there, but I've seen some already, and they haven't been that big a deal, but like I said, there could probably be some really broken ones later. But here's another example of like a unit that isn't really too effective. She's just going to keep cleansing herself, and then she can hide. So she's going to AoE, 
that's three, and you know she doesn't attack, so she doesn't take a hit. Someone else is gonna go after her. She's gonna hit her. She's gonna cleanse everything, and she's gonna go theoretically, right? Um, so it's important to like just have a breadth, a breadth of units that can do stuff. So here's another example. Her, I like bringing her into. This is, she's like my main counter to Sinful Angelica specifically because she has threes and puts debuffs on everyone. And a lot of times I'll bring units with her that don't care about the debuffs that um, NG puts up, uh, meaning that my designer a little bit gets to cycle a lot faster. Because every turn, if I'm not, if, if I don't S3, I don't cleanse the debuffs off everyone else. And if I'm running her in like Rem, Rem can, you know, I, she can just hold on to the debuffs. So like any other unit can hold on to the debuffs. They can just keep them and fuel her S2 passive more, uh, which means that, you know, she'll cycle a lot better. So I can just take out the, the new Angie and then clear everything after that and be fine going forward, right? So that, that's kind of a good example of, of a unit I use for that. Um, what else do I use? Um... Obviously, you can kind of use him, but he, like he can't counter because it's a non-attack skill. Uh, but anyway, that, that's kind of the main point for any of you out there who are like having trouble. Try to like build units that are okay getting debuffed, and then still do what they need to do. And there's not a whole lot of units like that, but you know it, it's it's good to invest in those units anyway. Um, so one of the other things about this video is kind of an update video. So you can see here that I pulled uh, Sinful Angelica. Um, I didn't spend any money. I didn't. Um, you can see here. I like you. Can, you can always tell when people have spent money because you can see how much um, of this they have. Like sky stones. Like if I bought the packs, I'd have like a bunch of sky stones. This is just average free to play. Like most free to play players have twelve thousand sky stone uh, just to be able to pity whatever unit comes next. But let's go see over here. Like so, we can see here. I don't have these packs. The only, the only reason I'm pointing this out specifically is because like Warball spent a bunch of money buying packs and whatnot, trying to like. Uh, get her and I, I do feel sad for uh, for him specifically so I haven't, I haven't bought anything um, I haven't spent so we can go back to the lobby I haven't spent uh, any mystic medals Come on. <laughs> because I actually got sinful Angelica from the let's see yeah so I haven't spent any mystic medals I've still got like 6,000 uh, it's about free to play amount um, <laughs> I got her from the adventure the oh, sorry the adventure uh, final boss in chapter three that gives you the six stones. Uh, I pulled those six stones and one of them, and I, you know, I did my one moonlight summon and it turned out to be her. So there's that. I this, this is just because I'm stupid. Um, I beat it the first time and I forgot that you needed a dark ally, so I just gotta beat it again with a dark person on my team. Um, if, if for anyone having trouble with this, uh, I would highly recommend bringing um, Fire Ravi. Fire Ravi and uh, Seaside Bologna are pretty good because Seaside Bologna does a lot of AoE to hit her. Uh, and then Seaside Bologna also helps wipe out these adds. Um, I brought Fire Ravi and um, Rem instead of Seaside Bologna because I didn't want... Because I wanted Ravi in the front to counter. Um, and I didn't want Seaside Bologna throwing damage on Ravi, so that's why I didn't bring her. Uh, but for those of you, if you have Seaside Bologna and just like bring a tank... I mean, you could probably bring Seaside Bologna, Rem, and like... Um, What's her name? Uh, Fallen CC, or maybe just Seaside Bologna herself, and then two Soul Weavers, because you need to be cleansing constantly. So you could probably do that if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, I brought Ravi because not only does Ravi do a lot of damage and she counters, uh, she also has um, a built-in stun. So when she S3s, and she's going to S3 a lot because she's going to get hit all the time. Um, when she has threes, she like knocks out all the all the little like minions everywhere. So that's that's a good thing. Um, yeah. So if anyone's having trouble, that, I would recommend that. Uh, the the other two, you need soul weavers and basically just kind of let it auto for a while until you get souls and then start like soul burning stuff and like just trying to do as much damage and then let it go for a while because you won't die most of the time as long as you have two soul weavers that are just constantly cleansing. Um, and I'm just kind of like rambling on about like update stuff while I'm doing uh, my daily whatever stuff. Oh, but yeah, you won't die if you're if you're doing whatever. Um, I beat the one right before her with just using Landy and like uh, uh, Soul Weaver and whatever. Um, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, just because you want to have not you want to not have debuffs on her. Uh, I think I brought Ravi into that too because Ravi doesn't debuff anybody. She stuns, but she can't stun the. Um, the boss obviously so she can stun like her stun works on everyone else and it doesn't work on her which is good uh what was the last there was a few other things i wanted to mention before because i'm gonna go do guild war and we're gonna watch uh, we're just gonna do guild war video 
Um, I haven't done a lot of Guild War recently because I don't have a lot of like, there wasn't a lot of like original units that I wanted to use. It's like, oh, I want to use this unit. It's like, it was always the same stuff that you picked. And now there's slightly different stuff. It's, it's, it does tend to be kind of the same-ish, but now the slightly different stuff. Um, I may have shown him off already, but I, yeah, I, I pulled Blood Moon Haste. I forgot where. It might have been off a of daily or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, what else? What else? There was oh, there was an extra unit I just pulled to. Um, oh, the one I'm building. So I'm also building um, Fire Mercedes, and she's got some pretty some pretty rocking gear here. Um, Two fifty crit damage isn't too bad. Um, I can get it a little higher with some refines, and I, I got to replace this helmet. So basically, let's let's take a look here. For anybody who saw Warbolt's video, he says this unit's good. Um, I generally kind of think Warbolt's kind of an idiot, but uh, regardless. Uh, if he says it's good, I mean, it's worth giving it a try, and I have the gear lying around. This is kind of one of the things I was wondering, too. I was sitting there thinking to myself, like, I have, I have like, you can see, all, like, all this counter gear that's on her that's pretty good. No one was using it because I, I didn't have anyone that could use it. So if somebody was like, oh, you know, she's pretty good on counter, it's like, well, I have the counter gear. Might as well put it on her because I don't have any other units that are good on counter. Um, she may as well wear it. Uh, let's see, what, what's the, where's the helmet I was going to give her? I was going to give her, oh, no, not that helmet, this helmet. So this helmet and this thing. So she's not five star awakened or anything. So you can see here that my stats are lacking, but basically she's gonna, I think once we get her to six star and fully leveled and, and max awakened and everything, she should have pretty good stats uh, by the end of this. So I have like this ring here, which is 65 defense and 35 health with great crit chance. Uh, you want, he wanted some speed. I was just kind of basing it off his build. And then, you know, once I use her for a while, I'll see whether I want to just drop all the speed or, you know, I'll say, I'll move from there. But if he's giving, if he's handing out a free starting point, then may as well, you know, take advantage of it. Right. So, uh, he had about this much speed, something like this. Uh, this health will, will go up when she levels up, uh, this diff, this defense as well on this attack. So the fact that I have pretty decent crit stats and crit damage stats before awakening is basically what I'm, what I'm happy with on her. And I think these these two stats will, will kind of level themselves out. But right now, there's no use taking these off, um, these units, to put on her. Uh, I haven't done, as, as you can see here, I still have yet to do the little... I have to go back and um, farm that little thing so I can give her her, her own artifact, which I forgot what it does. Uh, and I guess level her up or something. It says right here, the words, yeah. Um, so I'll probably do that. Um, hopefully I'll have her ready by next Guild War and I can make a video about it. And I'll probably be doing more RTA stuff as well, which is... Uh, pretty good so i guess what else was that it i think that was it so that was the main kind of update stuff you know units i'm working on units i just got um so we'll we'll do some rta and or some some guild war and, and see where we get from there um what's this one let's see what, what rank are we at even uh 150 so we're not top 100 anymore which is kind of sad uh this this guild i've been in in raven isn't really hasn't really been that like one of the top 100 material normally anyway but yeah uh so this doesn't look too bad i think i'm just going to take uh let's go with where are you mm, what am i looking for i immediately forgot oh yeah we're gonna take uh amelia because i just built oh that was the other unit that i um i just built let's take a look at it real quick um, I don't use her on defense or anything, or I don't really use her in, in RTA, so I can kind of show off her gear. Not that I really am that scared of, like, showing off stats, but... Uh, so she's at 240. Uh, ideally, you want her on, like, 250, but this is the best gear I have for her on, with the best speed, so... Um, that's as far as it's going to get. Uh, the effect resistance is nice, but again, she's not here to be like, I'm going to stack effect resistance on her and then cleanse any, like, debilitating debuffs. Because there's, there's two types of debuffs, right? There's, like, Sinful Angelica, which is debilitating, which is, like, strip into silence or strip into stun or whatever when those are de those are debilitating like uh you know fairy tale tenebrium um uh, i use her more like to stop other debuffs so like you know if, if you're playing against uh, uh what's her name like take uh what's her name here um cerise right cerise isn't debilitating it's very crippling it's very like hurtful but it's not debilitating i'm not like losing my whole first turn to her so she can go in s3 us and then she can uh, clean all those and you know we're solid from there right so there's nothing it's not that big a deal um so i bring her into that or i bring her into like uh regular carrot or uh you know you know carrot researcher carrot 
Because those aren't like those debuffs aren't gonna stop me necessarily or anything. They're not. I mean, they're gonna kill you, right? But they're not necessarily gonna stop me, and I can't act on my turn. So I'm just gonna you know take her turn, uh, wipe them all off, and then go from there, right? So she's kind of that's kind of what she's useful for. Um, one of the things I can get her to 250 speed. Well, theoretically, I should be able to. But I need to replace this with an 18 speed sword. Now <laughs> that's easier said than done, right? But um, if I get a you know over time, I'll you know we'll upgrade gear. And if I do get an 18 speed sword, it's going to go on her and then, you know, she'll be 250. So 250 isn't 100% out of range. I just need to find a sword that can hit that. So uh, I have not spent a lot of resources into leveling up Sinful Angelica because for one, she's not the playstyle I play, which is um, heavy debuffer. Uh, but for two, I don't have the mola for her to be good. So I'm just going to like hold off on that anyway. Um, the fastest, like the fastest new Angie I can make is like, 250 speed I think something like that which obviously that sucks <laughs> like my fastest Cerise is 272 so that's not like it just isn't it's just not good um, so we're gonna take uh, Crow here and we're gonna take um, oh this is not very good but I'm gonna take him anyway so we're gonna take Crow yeah we're probably gonna die I think if we're not careful here because I really want to bring um, Blood Moon Haste for specifically just for the uh, for him but i think i'd probably have better luck oh my gosh i can't believe i'm about to do this again like i specifically was like oh i can make guild war videos now because i'm not gonna use the same comps but i think i'm just gonna have to like um bring blue crow so i'm just gonna double crow soul weaver this. <laughs> um let's see we'll take you uh, okay so yeah turn one she'll cleanse the debuffs uh turn two she'll or he'll nuke him, and then he's gonna S3, and we'll be fine, theoretically. Uh, and then I'm gonna use him to kill him, make sure we're all topped off, and then finally we'll, we'll have to kill her somehow. Um, so down here we're taking... So down here is where I'm taking... Um, what's his name? Where are you? Yeah, we're taking you down here. Uh, we're taking Violet. Where's Violet? Violet's just like the perfect counter to her not even funny um, and I guess I could probably bring someone who's not gonna die to like incidental AoE um, hmm. hold on here let's try to figure out what we want to do I kind of want to bring you because I think it'll be funny to just have him like to just have her like nuke somebody on turn one. Um, this is the other reason I don't do Guild War videos sometimes. Uh, it's just because it's like you don't want to sit here and take forever and like annoy somebody. I guess we could just bring you, right? Um, the biggest problem with my uh, S10A is she's probably gonna die. Um, if yeah, if if Rem gets her AOE off, she's probably gonna die. Uh, I don't think, well, I don't think one AoE is going to kill her necessarily, but it's going to do a lot of damage. And then if, if Rem just gets a lucky counter, like AoE counter, then we're, yeah, she's probably going to die. So hopefully she doesn't. Um, I think that's the, probably the best we're going to do, unless, or I guess I could, yeah, I'll, I'll just bring Landy. Let's just, let's just make it easy and bring Landy. Because Landy won't die to incidental AoE, and then uh, he won't be able to hit her because she has, theoretically she has stealth, right? And well, here's hoping. Um... Yeah, we'll just see what happens. Battle in progress. Oh, somebody? No, she's kidding. It doesn't matter. She's probably going to lose. And there's still a lot of health on the tower left, so I don't think we're going to, like, waste an attack. All right, let's see what we got here. This is actually not too bad. Um, I was kind of... The one thing I was worried about is because um, she does not apply uh, immunity, right? So the problem being that... Let's just hit everybody with this. She doesn't apply, apply immunity, so I was just kind of worried that we're going to get debuffed by that blind from um, from Arby, but um, that, was, that wasn't anything to worry about. The only problem I see is we're probably not going to have like, enough damage to really just kill everybody. Um, uh, my first target right now has to be this, um, this Arby, because I need him to die. And he, we're going to do the most damage against Arby, is the, the bottom line, so he's going to be kind of the priority for now. Um, 
and the immunity helps us there. Uh, let's boost you forward. I'm going to use this on him first because um, he's going to be the main damage dealer against RB, but also because he doesn't have the speed buff yet. So now that he has a speed buff, I'll probably uh, use that on regular uh, crowd over there. So this will, this will probably hit us pretty hard, I think. Yeah. And we're going to get hit pretty hard by this. Oh, actually, that wasn't that bad. Um, let's kill... Let's kill Arby. I am going to just burn this now. Uh, and hopefully, yeah, I think I think we'll be fine because I'll probably start burning, or not burning, but spending my S2s on Crowl, on regular Crowl, just to get him to, to cycle his S2 faster. So um, we'll go here. So I'll take one S1. Hopefully he doesn't die. Okay, that's good. I can soul burn this, so I'm probably going to do that. I was supposed to be using it on uh, Water Crowl, but uh, he, he really needs to not die. Okay, so we're going to get hit by this again, which do I have my S3 up again? Hopefully, because I'm going to need that. Okay, we're going we're gonna to waste one attack on him. Okay, so he got his thing. Oh, cool. So we're back. So if I had my, if my Amelia was like 250, then I think we'd be like, we, we might have outsped this. Because she doesn't, I don't think she's that fast. Um, and we're going to... We're just going to do this. So we shouldn't be triggering... Okay, we didn't. That's good. Okay, so that's that. I can soul burn this again to heal him. 3k, that's actually not that much. So we're probably going to die. If if he hits Crow, he's probably going to die from this. And he hit Crow. So let's see if he doesn't die. I'm hoping he doesn't, but he probably will Oh yeah, okay. Um, so we lost Crow uh, early on, which is always kind of the suck, but it is what it is. Um, fortunately for us, we're just gonna. I think you know, I'm fairly certain we're just gonna win this no matter what. Anyway, though. Um, I don't think because he does more damage. He'll do more damage against the. Um, uh, what do I do here? Let's just put the barrier up. Because if, if the S2 is going to heal and the S1 is going to heal, um, and that's, you know, you don't want to heal because it's crowd, um, at the very least, we'll get the barrier up. Okay, so he's going after her, which she shouldn't take that much damage. He, he, you take a lot of damage on light units uh, because he's dark, right? That's really the only reason why. Um... I probably shouldn't be. Oh, okay, never mind. He's gonna hit us anyway. Yep. Okay. Uh oh, we might not have enough damage to do to kill him. Um, we're at six thousand. Let's just do it. Let's see what happens. Come on, he's dead. Cool. So we lost Crow. We lost our uh, only immunity granter. Other than, I guess I have, I have a built Basar, but he's not very good. Uh, he doesn't have that much effect resistance, and he's just, he's just gonna die. Um, okay, so they got their buffs up. I was hoping I could go before her, but I guess she was pretty fast. I mean, people are building what, like two something, like two twenties, two twenty, two twenty and above. Two twenty is not that high, but two twenty and above. Uh, we have to kill her just so, so we don't get AoEs. Uh, but we were building pretty fast, uh, made Chloe's just to, to take first turn because the, the important part basically is the um, the attack buff and the uh, revival. Uh, so let's kill you. Now we all have immunity. That's like the main part, just want to get immunity. Because I don't like that blind always lands and is really irritating. Perfect. And he's going after um, going after Violet. She's, she's gonna die. Oh, actually, well, yeah, she might not. I was thinking she'd die off of this just because she's got low health, but she's probably gonna heal it all back up right now. And she didn't heal anything. I don't know what she's on. Uh, even if you're only on lifesteal, that still should have, like, done a fair amount of damage. So we're gonna burn this on him. 
Just because we have the chunky barrier right now, so even if he hits through our evasion when he counterattacks, we're not going to take that much damage. Yeah, see? Um, and we need to get as much damage on him as possible. But again, we're going to do the same thing here. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, and then again, we're going to do this. Because the most, the hardest thing to kill here is going to be this, um, this Violet, because... Um, Chloe's already done her thing, like she did her S3 and now she's kind of just going to sit there until it's her turn again. Hopefully he doesn't die, because I actually use him a lot. I mean, I use, I use Crow, I use ML Crow a lot, obviously, but, um... So he can't counter this, which is good. And we hit him, so that's cool. And basically it's over. Um, we should just be able to kill her, no problem. Uh, he does not have another heal, which is kind of annoying, I just realized. Ah. Uh, every, it's so annoying, every time... Every time she hits him, it's just a gamble on whether she's gonna stun, stun him or not. Okay, so she's dead, we get her barrier, and immunity. And now we get to just murder her. So all three of us are just gonna hit her, like, hard. So we got this. Oh, I could have S3, I don't know why I didn't. And we'll just hit it with this. So yeah, ML Haste is uh, pretty dumb. Uh, mine is 195 speed. I want to, with some refines and like one more of those like switching stones or whatever. Um... Ah, are you serious? This always happens. People attack and then they fail. But the one time I'm doing a video where I kick this guy's ass and I wasted a crow on that, he wins. I can't believe this. Ugh, there you go, that's what I get for being an idiot. Uh, nobody better be attacking this or I'm gonna stab somebody. Okay, Angelica's here. Oh, people were complaining about this one. Um, this is actually a really hard one because... Right. Let's let's take you, because this was hilarious the last time she did it. I'm gonna take you. No, not you. Oh, well, you're down here somewhere, so we're take, we'll take you. Um... We'll take you. This isn't this isn't a good idea. Uh, where is maybe I should bring Crow. I think no matter what, he's just gonna die to her. Um, there's I don't think there's any scenario where we're not gonna like where we're gonna survive that. Um. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Uh. Yeah, this team is really annoying. Um, somebody was complaining about it earlier today, and I was like, yeah, I can see that. Hmm. That's, that's pretty interesting, because she counters a lot of dark... She counters basically every dark unit, right? But, like, the funny thing is, all the counters to her are dark, right? That, that's kind of interesting. And then, the only counters that are pretty decent are, like, what? Uh, ML... What's her name? Uh, I know. I know what her name is. It's, um... Ah, she's right here. I don't, I don't have her, but I have the, the regular... The ML Lulica. It's a decent counter, but ML Lulica is never going to outspeed um, uh, a new Angie. So this is this is actually a pretty decent team. Um, let's see. What can I do here? So basically we have to go in assuming that nothing's everything's going to get um, debuffed to hell. So... What can I put in here that'll survive any of this? Any of what's gonna go? What, any, any of what's gonna happen right now? I can't bring you because I'm not gonna AOE because that's not attack skill. Um, I guess I should just bring. Uh, where is she? Yeah, I'll probably. You know what? I'm probably just gonna bring Crow into this. All right, so hopefully, okay, ho hopefully Crow can survive. Um, basically, the plan is going to be, um, hopefully he can survive with Crow's Aureus and his 10% uh, defense increase from the Aureus, as well as, um, yeah, so 10% defense increase from the Aureus, as well as his, like, 10% damage reduction uh, when he hasn't used his S3 yet. yet. Uh, we're going to focus all our efforts into killing her. Um, this is pretty annoying. I don't know how to... Because it gets even worse because then she's going to just remove all our buffs. And give us unbuffables so when we kill someone and they revive it's not going to do very much. 
I need something. So this is, this is a good example of like where she's really strong and it's hard to counter her in this case. Um, yeah, there's really not a whole lot I can do without uh, outspeeding her. Because all the counters, like I said, design her a little bit, I can't. Cause she's going to get one shot by, by her. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, do I have? I don't have enough. Yeah, and then like you need damage, you need healing, and you need cleansing. You just need everything at once. Um, let's see, let's see. I guess I can speed gamble. We could. Well, let's bring her. Right, she doesn't look too bad. I can speed gamble, right, and bring like Kisei and hope she's slower than Kisei and just uh, hit her real quick. Um, but I don't think that's the way to go either. So I think I'm just gonna go with what I have now. Um, that should be fine. Uh, down here, what are we doing down here? So you're gonna AOE. We should probably bring you. So these two, and we gotta bring somebody to deal with. Uh, oh yeah, I always forget. Like if you for, for anyone who wants to like counter strays. Uh, whether it's fast strays or not fast strays, it doesn't really matter which strays it is. Uh, J Kisei, or regular Kisei, blue Kisei is always going to work against him. If she dies for whatever reason, uh, or probably just because Ram AoE counters and kills her, if she dies, it doesn't really matter because uh, he can solo all these other ones, so it's fine. And I don't use Kisei very much anyway. I only use her as a strays counter. Okay, here we go. So she's what? I might have been able to outspeed her with, uh, what's the name? Wow, my, uh, there's no effectiveness on that. I don't know what, there's no health on it either. It's only 10,000. I don't know what any of that was. Let's see what this does. Okay, we got 10% damage reduction. Wow, that was insane. Uh, now we are going to hit you. And we're just going to try to kill her, but I don't think that's going to happen. I can't believe I survived that. Uh, we're probably still gonna die though, so if ML Haste dies, I think I might just leave. Oh, wait, 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 come on, come on. Oh. Come on. Ah! I wanted to just kill her with the S1 from this, but I, yeah, it's not enough. He's gonna die. Yeah, he's dead. Um. Yeah, this, I can't deal with the revival without the healing from him, so we're just gonna have to leave. Yeah, that LQC is really strong. Um, <laughs> she's also decently fast too, like she cycled uh, the crowd. Wow, I can't believe we got outsped by a Mui, that's sad. That goes, that goes to show you how bad my uh, <laughs> my gear is. Uh, fortunately, that Mui did piss all. I mean, it gave everybody attack buff, but who cares. She's gonna die. She's about to die in like a one shot right now. If she doesn't die from this, she's gonna die on when I when I counter attack her. Fifteen. Oh, actually, we still have. The, oh yeah, she's not gonna. She's not even gonna go. She's too slow. It still does no damage. Uh, we're just gonna see how much. I want to see how much damage I get off of this. Sixteen. It's not bad. Ugh, that was disgusting. I think I still won. Yeah, I got the 520 off of it because of... I just needed to win one. Still, that was pretty disgraceful. Uh, I can't believe I lost to that top team. Like, I was just saying that, like, she's not the hardest thing to counter, but, like, <laughs> we ran into a, a very difficult to counter team there. Uh, let's try this one, see what's going on here. Um... We're gonna bring you, we're gonna bring you, and we should probably bring someone else here. I'm gonna bring you. I, I, you know what, I probably should just bring you. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring her, forget it. Let's do it. Um, yeah, we'll bring you, uh, let's see what else we got here. So down here, we want a lot of AoE, so obviously I'm bringing uh, Rem.
Hmm. <laughs> so we're bringing. We're probably. Yeah, I'll probably bring you. So that's not a good idea. We could bring you so he doesn't get slept or stunned. And I guess we'll bring. Um. Let's see. Do I want to bring, I guess I could just bring, what's her name here? Um, who else is here? Who else is here? Who else is here? Who else? You. These are kind of single, that's, he's single target, and then she's kind of single target, she's single target, because I want to bring you. This, I should probably, the, so who, the, the other person I was thinking of was probably just bring Amelia, because I don't think, right, so let's bring her here. So I think I can put Amelia here, and this will be just as good, because not only will I have cleansing ability, I can just keep boosting somebody forward and have them just hurt people a bunch. Um, but hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta go change something on my um, Mort. Okay, uh, what I was gonna change it to was kind of dumb, so I didn't change them at all. Um, so yeah, what I should bring here is Amelia to be safe, but uh, I don't know, I'm still kind of salty about losing the other one, so I don't really care about being safe, I just kind of want to get in there and do something, right? Um, I can't believe this. I only have 520 points because the first one I got cheated out of, and then the second one. Oh, I still won the second one, so that's fine, but I. Oh my gosh. Um, so, let's see. I think in the future I might have to change his build. Like after that, what just happened, I feel like maybe a slower one with more tank would be better, but I'll have to see. It's kind of a drastic change to just be like, to make in the heat of the moment after you're pissed off about losing to something stupid. Um, but yeah, let's see. Would he have survived even if I had made him tank here? I don't know. Who knows? Probably not, but still. Uh, so that's that seems fine up there, yeah. So I, sh I should probably just bring her, which... <sighs> I, I really just want to bring... Um... I really just want to bring her, though. Um... Fine, we'll be safe. We'll be, we'll be no fun. We'll bring uh, Amelia. Nah, screw it. I already pressed the button. It's too late. I'm just gonna go take her in there. We're gonna lose probably, but so here's this. She cleansed that, which is what we needed. Um, let's soul burn. It's so good to finally have. Um... The Japanese voice pack because I've just been lazy. Wow, she resisted both of them. I can't wait to see her S3. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't even fathom what I'm watching right now. I can't be asked to care anymore. I'm just going to kill. Actually, let's do this. This shouldn't kill him, right? Yeah, it's not gonna kill him. So that's not gonna kill him. I can't believe she resisted both of those. She has two. F she has two fire debuffs specifically so that if one gets resisted, the other one can go through. And she's they still both got resisted. That's ridiculous. It's not even funny. Can't even fathom how dumb that was. Like, okay, so here comes the S3, which is fine because she'll get burned again. And my S3 is about to be up this next turn. Okay, so if she resists both of these again, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lose it. As you can see there, my health is kind of low, which kind of bothers me. But other than that, it's like. My, uh, she's perfect, basically, is what my point is. Okay, so that turned out fine. Uh, just because Carrot carried us through this. And you get to S3 again. I just, ah, dude, I love ML Haste. I, yeah, I think the, what I should, I think what I'm going to end up doing is probably just, because he, he's on a speed boot right now to get him to 200 speed. Just because I want him to take his turns more so that he can... Because sometimes, like, you waste the S3, right? So if you have your S3 up, and then you kill Arby, 
You you it reset it, but you never used it. So you could have gotten two S threes out, but you only got one S three out. So I think instead of just being so greedy, I should just kind of like not be so greedy, right? Um, and this basically worked out as good as I wanted it to because now, wow, this actually worked out better than I wanted it to because uh, her job was to get rid of the the, um, the skill nullifiers, which she did, and now um, she just gets to run in here and, and hit everybody hard with a gab. And I have 100% crit chance, so it's like. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, now we're just gonna kill this guy. And he heals, so everyone here heals, which is pretty pretty cool. Which is why you can just run three damage dealers and not like have to worry about um, a thing. <laughs> and there she goes. She gets to do this. And we're gonna do this. dead and we get to do this uh, Mort's kind of interesting because he, he actually just works without Mola without much Mola there, there's just a few that you need like they boosted his um, I, I put in the Mola in his s1 that uh, boosts his defense break chance up to 50% uh, for anybody who wants to see my Mort He's not the best, mind you, but he's he's pretty damn good. I, I, I'm really enjoying using Mort lately. Uh, you can't bring him in, in in every comp, but he's always just fun to irritate people. Um, just because he won't stop countering. Now, I run him on a speed build. Because if they're going to give us free um, counter chance, then just put something else on him, right? Um, but as you can see here, it's kind of like throwaway gear. Like He's not even at 100% crit chance, which you kind of need for this to, to really mean something. Uh, but as you can see here, all I have is this to give him the 50% chance, and then soul burn for 100%, and it ignores his effect resistance. So there you go. Um, I gave him the one turn cooldown so he can keep cycling this because the speed buff and the attack buff is pretty valuable. Because you get the, you know, theoretically I have a faster mort. Uh, I have the gear to probably put him to like a 240, 245 or something like that, 240 speed, which isn't like 100% like oh man he's he's like unstoppable now, but he, he's gonna be pretty fast at that at that speed. But then he S3s, gets 10% extra speed from that, so 240 plus 10% of 240 is what? Uh, 24 speed, so now he's at 260 speed. So basically he's at 260 speed after first turn. But if he gets this off and he gets the, the speed increase, um, that's uh, what? The speed buff is 30% plus the 10% is 40%. So 10% times 4, 24 times 4 is 80... Uh, 8, 4, 16, 96. So you're basically getting 100 speed uh, from these two combined, right? Because you're getting basically, yeah, 40% is almost half your speed on top of that. So you basically get 100, 100 speed on your 240 speed, your, your, your 300 speed unit essentially, um, after turn one, which basically makes them cycle like unbelievably fast. Um, and what I, what I want to give him though over this is I'd probably rather per give him a, um, an injury set and he needs immunity too. Uh, and you might say, why give him injury if he's already got injury on his S3? Well, the injuries stack. So instead of getting, you they lose 20%, they also get the percentage from the injuries. So you get, in about two turns, if he's cycling fast enough, if he's cycling fast enough, uh, in about two turns, if he's cycling fast enough, you can you can get that cap of 50% um, HP reduction, which in this, you know, in this day of like everyone running bruisers, right, and healers, you're reducing their healing output. Not only are you reducing like her healing output, but you're reducing the capacity that she can heal. So now instead of healing 5,000, she can only heal 2,000 because your health bar has been cut, you know, by a certain amount, right? Uh, so basically, what he, what he, what you want to, what I think you want to do with him is, is have him be like, inflict permanent damage, right? Damage that can't be healed because of you know how many good healers are out there right now. Uh, so I, I want, I want him on a uh, injury set. Of course, I don't farm injury. No one farms injury. Um, if I ever get him, I need to upgrade this too, and this will give him more HP. But basically, H 18k is what you want on his HP, and I think minimum 200 speed. Um, like I said, this gear is kind of crap, so he should probably be somewhere like 240 with the same stats everywhere else. Um, and the other person, I was going to use her today, but I didn't. Uh, that was uh, my Selene. I, I've used her in Arena sometimes because when, when the... Um, the Angie comes in and does her thing, like it's hilarious to just watch her one-shot the Angie. Well... It was kind of like, it doesn't happen all the time because I don't have the, uh, for one, she doesn't have that one that targets, 
which is this one in the middle, which targets the highest attack, which it would never target Angie, which is the only reason it's happened. Um, it gives her uh, stealth, or what is it? Yeah, stealth for two turns when she activates it. So she gets moved up forward, she gets stealth, and then she um, does whatever she wants. If she doesn't get silence, she can S3 into uh, cleansing herself, the S3 cleanses. And I don't even have her fully mullet, but I, yeah. It's just funny to watch her like straight up one shot um, <laughs> new Angie. Uh, I put Mola into this, which is because there's only three, but I think um, I probably should have saved them and put them into these two because they're the most important things. Uh, but yeah, my also this isn't even fully leveled. Uh, I could get 90% chance and 21, I think, or 22% CR boost. Um, uh, maybe 20, yeah, probably, I don't know, 21 probably. Um, so yeah, this is her build. Uh, you can kind of build her faster. Like, if you want to build like a speedy, like, I don't know, maybe 200 speed with probably, you know, equal, you know, crit stats, like equal stats to this. You can, I mean, I, I've i definitely seen like, what, 3,800, uh, you know, with 100% or 90, you know, maybe like 280, maybe 300 crit damage on like 200 speed. That's pretty good too, because not only does she get to just nuke someone, uh, the CR push will probably push her forward to cut someone, and then you get to kill someone. Uh, there you go. You have stealth for two turns. Uh, you have dodge for two turns, because this gives you dodge. Um, and now she's hard to kill and she's going to be taking more turns because if you're healing or doing anything She's going to get boosted up more and she's just going to keep sniping people, which is hilarious to watch um, But yeah, so for anyone curious about that, that's that's that build uh, Did I use anyone else kind of interesting today? No, not really uh, Obviously my ML Ken is here. He's just kind of crap. You can see these stats are garbage. His crit damage is, is way too low um, And his defense is kind of low uh, but yeah, uh, basically that's it. Hopefully um, you guys had decent luck out there. I'll probably upload some um, RTA stuff later and, and you know, we'll see where we go from there. Uh, but yeah, I, I, theoretically I want to do more content for this, but I've, I've been saying that since like, you know, forever and it hasn't happened. Look at this boot. This boot's garbage. Um, it hasn't happened, so, you know, we'll, we'll take it one day at a time and we'll see how I do videos. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, see you guys out there and um, good luck out there on whatever you're doing. If you're summoning for New Angelica... <laughs> And like I said, um, thank you very uh, Good luck out there. Hopefully you don't spend hundreds of dollars to get her. Um, but yeah. Oh, I guess the next time you see me, probably in Guild War video again, I should have uh, Fire Mercedes ready. But again, we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, there's that.